Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, this video uh, comes as a warning to women to be very careful. Be careful out here because there are some strange things happening, uh, some very dangerous things. This woman um, in Houston, she was forced to shoot a stranger uh, who refused to leave her front porch and it started off as a very frightening morning for her. If I remember, I will leave a link uh, to the video that's talking about this in, this uh, particular incident. Now, women have to be prepared to protect yourself and your children as this uh, particular story is going to highlight. This woman, she was ready to take her kids, her children, to school in the morning. And her Ring app, I guess, is uh, what she has or whatever it is that she has on her front porch. It alerted her that someone was there Lo and behold, it was a man. Again, she's ready to leave the house to take her children to school. Just this woman and her children. This man refuses to leave. She repeatedly asked him to leave. He would not leave. So, there's a conversation going on. So, the, the video will back up her statements um, according to what police are saying. Uh, she also called them. Hey, there's a man on my porch. He will not leave. I'm afraid and concerned about opening the door to leave out, to take my children to school. I don't know what his deal is. He's not cooperating. I'm asking him to leave. She calls her boyfriend as well. She calls other family members. The boyfriend apparently um, grabbed his weapon as well to, you know, come and help handle the situation. The man still refuses to leave. This sounds very strange, y'all. It sounds very frightening as well. And so what is a woman to do? This is why I say women need to be prepared to protect themselves and their children at all times because you don't know what's going on out here. People are, people are doing some strange things. Nobody knows what the man's deal is, okay? Why he wouldn't leave. But she was very concerned. And because of that concern, this woman had to make a choice. Do I need to try to figure out what his deal is or do I just protect myself right here and now? Because you know there are laws that say someone has to be in your house and some areas they have to be in your house. But this woman, she's like, okay, well, I'm in my house. He's on my porch. I got to leave. I got children. It's just me and my children here. What am I supposed to do? The woman ended up shooting this man several times. He's in the hospital. They're waiting for him to come out of surgery so that they can question him. Did she make the right choice? Was it okay in this case for this woman to make a choice to, to protect her and her children or should she have waited to, to see if he was gonna break in first? See, some laws just don't make sense. Some laws don't make sense to me because in this case, you know, because the, they're they're not sure if they're going to pursue any criminal charges at this point, which I hope they don't. But in some cases, y'all know how the law could just be just turned the wrong way. Remember the one woman whose husband was being violent towards her, the black woman down in Florida, I believe it was. And all she did was shot a warning shot through the ceiling and she, she was arrested and sent to jail. She didn't even shoot the man. And he was inside the house. So it's kind of, you know, unnerving to know or to think that the law might say, look, nope, you did wrong. You got to go to jail for this. I hope that this woman doesn't have to face those type of consequences. So far, it seems like everyone is in support of her, that she made the right choice and the right decision. But think, of, think about this. <clears throat> For a woman to actually have to think about, okay, here, here are my children, here I am. Um, according to the law, I can't shoot him unless he crosses my threshold. And so do you literally expect someone to wait until someone kicks the door in before they can move and make an action? Or do you neutralize the threat? I mean, what do you do? Women, be careful out here. Be prepared to protect yourself. Hopefully this law won't come back to bite her because that I can imagine that being frightening. Can you imagine somebody on your front porch? You don't know who the heck they are, why they're there. They're not responding to you. 
and it's just you and your children in the house, or just think of if what what if it's a senior citizen? What are they supposed to do? Wait till the person break in before they make take some type of action? In this day and age, life is frightening. It can be frightening to try to figure out what the heck's on somebody's mind. Now, I know there will be some who will say, well, she should have waited for the police to get there. When you are in fear, it prepares you for fight or flight. You just don't know what people are going to do. And I, I can imagine her being a woman with children. All kinds of thoughts went through her mind. She's probably thinking, okay, um, if all he has to do is just break the window and he's in here. And, and what if I don't move fast enough? What if I don't make the right move fast enough? What if the police don't get here fast enough? What if my boyfriend doesn't get here fast enough? What if my family don't get here fast enough? So many thoughts could have been going through this woman's mind. And so, did she make the right choice in defending herself without even thinking of the law of the threshold thing, <laughs> you know? Did she make the right choice in eliminating the threat? Now, I'm not sure of what the reason was for shooting him several times, <laughs> you know? I'm not sure what that was, but she, she must have been awfully afraid to shoot him several times. But again, this is a very tricky situation. I want to know what you all think about this. Um, of course, she has a lot of support right now because, again, in this day and age, do, do we have time to try to figure out what's on somebody's mind or do you wait for them to kill you first? I mean... I mean, what what do what do they expect you to do? Wait for the intruder to take you out first, or do you just protect yourself? We know that laws are not always equally thought out or equally applied. We do know that. That's why that one woman who merely shot she was a black woman, y'all, and her husband was coming after her. And she only shot a warning shot through the ceiling. She didn't even shoot the man, but she had to do some time, y'all. And I think it—I think it was until recently that she um, got off. Don't quote me on that, but I know she did some time. Was that fair? Was it fair? This is why people have to think. When you are free to just protect yourself and you don't have to think, that's one thing. But when you have to say, okay, if I protect myself, am I going to be in trouble? <laughs> you know? Mm, mm, mm. We had something similar happen, happen years ago, and I talked about it on this channel, where there was a white man who actually came into our yard. Our yard was completely fenced in, and he was at our daughter's bedroom window looking through their bedroom window. Yep. He was looking through their bedroom window. I shared that story here. We called the police. Uh, they asked if we had a weapon. Um, you know, and you know all this kind of stuff. And we were actually told that because we didn't have no trespassing signs on our gate, that um, there was nothing they could do. And so we said, so if we had eliminated the threat. Would we have been in trouble? I mean, this guy was at their window. What? It was like, I think it was around 11 at night. So what if we were in bed and sleep? What if we were in bed, sleep, and he had came in? You see, that was a frightening thing to have someone at your, your little girl's bedroom windows. And sometimes that we would sleep with the windows open because it would be warm and you wanted to, to chill out. You see what I'm saying? When you have to think, oh, do I protect myself or or, or do I um, wait for the police to get it? Let me see, it's not fair because up, some people don't have to think like that. They just pull the trigger and just call the officers and say, well, hey, I was defending myself. And that's, that's all they need to do. And y'all know who I'm talking about. It is what it is. Now, all of this stuff was prophesied in the land of our captivity. The Bible did talk about how we as so-called black people um, would be treated and it's not always fair it's not always fair we have to think before we react but some people just don't 
they could all they have to do is say, well, officer, I felt threatened. And the officer say, well, that's good enough for me. Mm, mm, mm. This is why the one little girl whose, whose mom let her read the 619 Project, she's a little white girl, her mom, um, shared her statement that she thinks that is a good idea to read it so that history doesn't repeat itself. She thinks it's a good thing for kids to know the truth and not hide the facts of history. Anyway, I'm done with the story, y'all. I'm coming down off my soapbox now, okay? Um, in the comment section, uh, remember to keep your, your comments um, as censored as possible. Keep it tight and keep it right because some things you can't even speak on. Heavily censored these days. Anyways, leave your comments below. I am out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.